A Vital MT beers, we have three new mountain bikes to check out today, and they vary from budget to baller. We don't have these bikes in hand yet, some are on the way for testing, but we wanted to share the specs, builds, and prices with you. This info is straight out of press releases sent by each brand, but listening and watching is easier than reading, right? We start off with the Pivot Mach 6, followed by the Canyon Stoic, and end with a new evil offering. Timestamps are below to help you get to where you want to go. First off is the new redesigned and updated Pivot Mach 6 mountain bike. 27.5 inch wheels only, carbon frame only, adjustable geometry, longer DW link suspension with 160 mils of travel front and rear. Well, technically it's 158 millimeters out back with a progressive shock rate for both coil or air shocks. Pivot keeps on with the 12 by 157 millimeter rear axle, also known as Super Boost. Regular Boost is 12 by 148. Rider size range is 4 foot 10 inches to 6 foot 2 inches, using extra small, small, medium, and large frame sizing. The extra small and small have dropped bent top tubes, and Pivot says each frame size has specific carbon tunes, so rider and bike performance is optimized. Pivot's tool dock system is in place under the top tube and near the bottom bracket. There's quiet internal cable routing and plenty of clearance for a water bottle. Quick and dirty geometry chart skimming in the low setting shows a 65 degree head angle, 431 mil chain stays, 353 millimeter bottom bracket height, and 75.5 degree effective seat tube angle. A medium has a 460 mil reach with 618 millimeter top tube measurement, while the large hits 480 mils in the reach department and a 641 millimeter top tube. Pivot sure makes their admin, staff, and product managers work for it because there are 14 different build options of the Mach 6, starting at $5,599. They work on up to over $12,000 for a Mach 6 with all the electronic gizmos like SRAM Access and Fox Live Valve. We'll do what we can to keep this tight. There are race, pro, and team levels of build with either Shimano or SRAM drivetrain and brakes. The race models keep it simple with Marzocchi Z1 fork and Bomber CR shock. You can choose Shimano or SRAM and that's it for the sub $6,000 builds. The pro and team levels of the Mach 6 give you the choice of Shimano or SRAM drivetrain and brake combos, but they all use Fox suspension. You choose between Fox coil, air, or the all-knowing electronic Fox live valve suspension components. Pro Mach 6 builds run XT or X01 level components, while Team is XTR or Access. Again, this is a cursory glance at a new bike with a ton of models and options. Digging into the specifics of the builds is best left out of this video, so hit up VitalMTB.com to see spec lists and prices and really investigate how the new Mach 6 shapes up. Pivot says Vital will be receiving one for testing soon, and if you just can't wait, they should be available at Pivot Dealers as we speak. All right, so let's bring it back down in price and simplicity with Canyon's new Stoic hardtail. There is a Stoic 2, 3, and 4 available, but the USA only gets the 3 and 4 as options. The Stoic 3 hardtail is $1,099, while the Stoic 4 is $1,799. Canyon describes the 6061 aluminum bike as a rowdy hardtail, and it comes in six sizes. Double extra small, extra small, and small run 27.5 inch wheels with 150 mil forks, while medium, large, and XL are 29ers with 140 mil travel forks. Head angle is a very fun 65 degrees with snappy 418 millimeter chain stays on the 27.5 options, and 428 mil stays on the 29ers. Seat angle is 75 degrees across the board. A glance at the geo chart reveals medium reach is 455 millimeters with a 623 millimeter top tube length, while large has a 480 mil reach with a 650 millimeter top tube. The bottom bracket on the Stoic is 73 millimeter threaded, 30 tooth chain ring is max, and out back, a 27.5 by 2.8 inch or a 29 by 2.6 inch tire will fit. The Stoic 3 for USA gets a Suntour XCR34 air fork, 
Shimano MT200 brakes, and 10-speed Shimano Dior drivetrain. The Stoic 4 features a RockShox Pike Select fork, SRAM Guide T brakes, and NX Eagle drivetrain. The reported weights are in the 32 pound range, so they're not light, but they're burly and they do look fun and capable enough. Canyon bikes are purchased directly from canyon.com, and if you want more Canyon goods, check out our Spectral 2.9 review from last week. Finally, for you core trail shredders, Evil's Do Anything Go Anywhere mountain bike is back with a shorter offset fork, steeper seat tube angle, and longer reach. The 140 mil travel Evil offering that uses the Delta suspension system has been updated. Fork choice can vary between 150 and 160 millimeters of travel up front, and thanks to their extra low or low flip chip settings, bottom bracket height can be tweaked by 11 millimeters, while other angles are steepened or slackened when switching between modes. Extra low with 160 mil travel fork nets a 65.3 degree head angle, and seat angle in this configuration is 76 degrees. But wait, there's more! An aftermarket angle set from Evil gives you even more choices for fine-tuning the bike's handling and agility. Reach on a size medium Evil offering hits 465 mils, a large is 486, and there are four sizes to choose from total, small, medium, large, or XL. That 12 by 157 mil Super Boost rear axle is present here too. There's internal cable routing, 73 millimeter threaded bottom bracket, and integrated upper chain guide. Evil says there is a frame only option, but we don't have a price for that right now. Or there are three SRAM specific builds. All kits use Industry 9 Hydra wheels, RockShox Lyric Ultimate Forks, RockShox Super Deluxe Ultimate RCT shocks, and Maxxis tires. The offering GX, X01, or Access build names should be pretty self explanatory. The GX runs $57.99. The X01, 7,399, and the Access model, which does include the Access Reverb Dropper seat post, lands at $8,099. Availability on these Shroud machines is mid-January 2021. Go deeper into build specifics and the very complex geometry options on our site, VitalMTB.com. Do you have a favorite out of these three bikes, the Pivot, the Canyon, or the Evil? Let us know in the comments, subscribe if you haven't yet, and stay tuned for plenty more to come.